Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another all day long thrifting extravaganza. Um, it's Saturday. We had a live sale yesterday, Friday night, and it was super duper fun. I do the live sales every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on Saturdays, I shop the whole day specifically just for tonight's sale. So I'm going to take you guys along the ride with me today. We're going to go to a bunch of different places, and I can't wait to show you guys what we find. I'm really excited. Let's cross our fingers. Let's put up positive energy out there. That hopefully we'll find some awesome stuff. Uh, but first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift pals, vlogs, home decor videos, all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from the thrifting adventures. And of course, the live sales. You guys, if you join the live sales, you get first dip on the items that I find. So head over there if you want to see what I find first. And then, um... The Depop shop. I have a sale actually going on. If you guys want to check that out, the link is down below in the description box. Oh goodness, this is like the first time I talked all day, so I'm just like tongue tied. But let's head over to uh, the store and I'll see you guys over there in a second. All right, you guys, first stop of the day, we're at Crossroads in Griffith Park. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, we're looking through the bags. Don't really see anything new, but let's see. They still have this one, Michael Kors. This is the one that I liked from last week. All right, you guys, didn't see anything over at Griffith Park. We went down the street. Now we're at the Sunset location for Crossroads. Hopefully you can find some stuff here. All right, you guys, looking through the bags. I see this long shop right here, but it's like $50. I do like the color, but I'm like, eh, about it. Let's see what else we're gonna find. The music here is really good too, so all I wanna do is like sing along. They're like playing all my jams. <laughs> I did find a Tory Burch up at the front, which I have on hold at the moment, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, Tribeca, 28 bucks. All right, you guys, I just ended up getting this Tory Burch, but it's perfection, it's so cute. All right, you guys, we are, um, this is gonna be on Melrose. We're gonna go to Crossroads, we're gonna go to Wasteland. Maybe Second Street. I went to a couple crossroads before here. Uh, I think I went to like th two, three, three. They didn't have anything, so I didn't really film, but I'll see you guys over at the store. All right, there's crossroads. There's Kush bag right here, but this one's an outlet one. Don't know if I'm gonna get it, but let's see what else we can find. Zara pillow bag. Oh, look at this Sophie home. This is cute. This is like the big size. Okay, there's this furla. There's also this um, Longchamp backpack, all leather. So cute. Because I got so much stuff, like I got this Longchamp backpack. It's something Alexander Wang, which is very exciting. And then a bunch of other goodies that are in here. So I couldn't film inside Wasteland, but you know, they don't allow filming. But we're going to go to another store right now. All right, you guys, we just got to the next Crossroads store. This one's in West Hollywood. Let's go. All right, going through the bags. Don't really see too much. <laughs> Guys, we are now in Studio City, and I admit that I have not been filming very well today. Like, I haven't been really filming at all too much inside of the stores, so I apologize. I'm going to try and change that right now, even though it's possibly the last store that we're going to. But we're going to one more crossroads, and then we're going to go to another wasteland down the street. Unfortunately, they don't allow filming in wasteland, so I'll show you if I get anything, but yeah. I found some pretty good stuff today, but not like a ton of stuff. By today, it's more of quality over quantity, I think. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're looking through the handbags now. Oh my gosh, I have the same case speed bag in red right now. Is this a... Uh, all Saints. Oh, it isn't All Saints. How much is this? 65. There's a Michael Kors. Mark Jacobs. Long Chunk. What is this? Not a Michael Kors. Oh, we have this cute little Mark Jacobs backpack. This is actually kind of cute. It just has a little lint on it. How much is this guy? You guys, I just found all of the vintage coach bags. Amazing. You guys, I found this coach dinky. This one's a new one. Woo, so cute. How fabulous are these Valentinos, you guys? Look at the little heel, it's so cute. 
You guys are now live in the vlog. So everyone, say hi right now. Say hi to the vlog. You guys are right, right there. Uh, we are announcing the giveaway for tonight. Our giveaway is this beautiful Coach makeup bag. The Poppy Coach Clear See-Through Makeup Bag. It's super fun, super cute. Uh, everyone say hi! Happy, um, happy October. Oh my goodness gracious, I still can't believe it. Um, I have my YouTube random comment picker right there on the screen as well. I have the video linked in. Uh, we're not including replies, but we are allowing duplicates. So every comment counts as an entry. Okay, let's see how many entries we have tonight. Yesterday we had over 400. Tonight, are we gonna- Oh! Wow, this is the most ever! 634 comments on that video. So 634 entries. Alright, you guys, we're gonna pick the winner in 3, 2, 1! Laura! Laura, congratulations! Oh my goodness, Laura! Congratulations on winning the makeup bag. You manifested this. You did it. Congratulations. Where are you, Laura? You have won our beautiful little makeup bag. Yes, Laura M. That's you. Gotta love Thanksgiving is your answer for what your favorite thing about fall is. Laura, please make sure to send me a DM or an email with your info. We're going to send you this makeup bag. Congratulations on winning. Again, if you're watching this video after the live is already over, please join us every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We do a giveaway every night, and it is so much fun hanging out with all of you guys. Hey guys! Okay, so we are back at the house, and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting from the thrift. Um, so, this isn't everything that I got. Actually, let me see if I have, um, ooh, do I have any photos? Uh, I got home, like, the way that the, that the live sales and the thrifting on Saturdays go is that I thrift the whole day, get home, and then get set up already for the live. I literally get home at around like 8.39 just because the drive is so intense and so far. Um, and then get ready for the live. The live goes on at 10. And I'm like prepping, trying to like clean stuff up and get things ready uh, to show you guys. And then once the items sell that night, the next day is drop them off. Um, to get packaged up and shipped out to you guys. So, I no longer have all the items. Um, I used to try and like film the haul videos right after the live sales, but the live sales end at midnight, and it's just like really, like it's like so intense. Like I'm literally going from like 9 a.m. to like 2 a.m. the next morning. So it's just like, it's just been like really intense, so I don't really do that to myself anymore, though sometimes I will, but this was not one of those days. And also, if you do want to see like the other things I do find during the day, I do post photos like in my stories on Instagram, so if you want to do that, definitely consider um, following me on Instagram. Anyway, but let me show you guys what um, I got, because I got some pretty fun stuff. So these are these things that I'm showing you are still available. Also, I found that when I show you guys things that are no longer available, sometimes people get a little mad. So, I don't know, this baby helped alleviate that. And if you want to see what I did have, you can always check out the live sale. I'm going to have that linked. All the prices for the items are also in that video as well. And if I remember, I will try to put the pricing for these in this video if you guys are interested in purchasing them and you can send me a DM or an email otherwise you can wait till the next live sale or wait till they pop up eventually on Depop all right with that being said let's get into the haul I'm sorry that was like very wordy I don't even know what's happening anymore it's literally like what time is it it's it's 11 5 p.m. <laughs> Sunday October 3 all right so Dooney and Burke this is um, one of the special collaborations with Parasol, which is really cool. It has like this rubber bottom and the leather is kind of like, it feels rubberized as well. It has a really cool like texture to it. I love the color of this. It's like a Tiffany blue and the base is black. And the, this is the interior right there. Oh, I think it's a really, really cool bag and I love 
like the rubberized bottom. I don't know, it makes me feel so sturdy and it makes it like, I feel like that's a good bag to use when it's raining because it's going to protect your stuff because it's like not going to get damaged or anything, or anything from the water. Um, then up next, I have this vintage coach bag. This one is so gorgeous. I'm looking at the hardware. <laughs> it has brass hardware. This is made in USA. It's the crossbody bag. It still also has the little dongle on it. We have a back pocket right there and turn lock opening like so. And then inside we just have one zipper pocket. Um, I got this guy for $32.50. And it's beautiful. It just needs like a little bit uh, more of a conditioning, but the leather is still in such good shape. And these Made in USA bags are like probably older than I am, and they are looking way better <laughs> than I am. Oh goodness. And then up next, oh let me show you another coach. I have a bunch of coach actually, so let me show you all the coach bags first that I still have remaining. I just love picking up vintage coach. I think it's so cool. But here I have a coach bucket bag. This is another vintage one made in USA. This one's really rare because it is actually in a suede leather, which is really cool. It's really rare to find uh, the vintage suede bags. So this was an exciting find for me. Uh, black suede, black leather trim. The interior is actually a pebbled leather, which is very, very nice. Um, and this one was $32.50 as well. It has one interior pocket right in there. And yeah, crossbody strap. This bag is super cute. And this is like a good like everyday bag. It holds a ton. I love this silhouette. Um, I just need to clean up the suede a little bit. It just needs a good suede brushing and then I think it's gonna look fantastic. So I'm very excited to have that available for all of you. And I think that is it for my vintage coach. So I'm gonna go on to my modern coach because I also have a couple new pieces. This one is a coach dinky bag and it's in this beautiful like what color would you say this like it's not a maroon is it a burgundy but it is beautiful perfect for fall it has gunmetal colored hardware has a little charm right there we have a back pocket right here this bag is actually a really really good size it'll hold um, your iPhone in there perfectly so that just sits in there gorgeous and we have the turn lock right here and actually i thought this was so cool i wanted to show you guys this this is a way to shorten the strap without like just using the holes so this is like a cool way to do it as well so i wanted to show you guys that because i thought that was really nice uh, there's a front pocket under the top flap and then here is another interior pocket right in there this bag is in fantastic condition Super clean and ready for a new home. This one I got for $37.50. She is gorgeous. Ah, the leather on this is so nice too. I really like that bag. Okay, now this one I was really excited about. This is actually the most expensive um, coach item that I purchased today. But I've never seen one of these before. Um, I've only seen these kind of like has like a wristlet or something. But this is actually a sunglass crossbody bag which I thought was very cool it has like the brass hardware it has a little turn lock right here and also the color of this is fantastic it is this beautiful like lavender color um the interior oh I have my receipt interior looks like this it is just suede inside so it's nice and soft and protective for your glasses and the leather is really really thick it's really nice. It also does come with a little cleaning um, fabric thing. And then the little coach tag is actually right there in the inner corner. But I thought this was such a cool find. The color is so, so pretty. And I don't know, I love, I love, love, love this bag. I think it's so unique and so cool. Um, I actually tried putting sunglasses in here. You can put sunglasses. And if you have like a little card case, a chapstick, it all fits in here perfectly. So I thought that was really cool and i love the shape of this too i think it's a nice uh like silhouette you can even probably use this as a little belt bag if you want to like tie this around your waist and wear it like that i think this would be really cute as a belt bag as well or if you wanted to just add a wristlet to this and then have it like that or just remove this completely and just 
throw this in your purse or bag and use it as an actual just sunglass case by itself you can do that as well or as a makeup bag there's so many things you can do with this and that's why i really really like it so $47.50 it kind of reminds me of there's actually a chanel sunglass case that's a handbag kind of looking thing as well and i thought this was kind of like coach's um version of that bag so i thought this was cool all right onwards Next, I have this beautiful long chomp backpack. Uh, I totally forgot what the backpack style was called, but I actually looked at this bag up and it retailed for almost $800. Uh, I think including tax, it would be over $800. So I thought that was really, really crazy. I got this for $37.50. It's in this beautiful mustard tan color. The leather is so, so soft. We have the back strap right there. And then this has a turn lock, but it also has a drawstring. So there's two ways to close it up. The interior just has that one interior pocket. And then here we have like all of the little tags and everything. The launch off tag. And then there's the little like kind of clearish looking one underneath. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful bag. And again, the leather on this is super duper soft and it's so amazing. Um, uh, yeah, and then I have just one last item after this one. And this one I think is my favorite. I actually might keep it because I literally started using it today when no one bought it during the live. Um, but it comes in this box. It is an Alexander Wang piece. I actually just threw it back inside of here. Um, and it still has my stuff inside. But here it is. It is so cool gorgeous can you see how like how much it shines ah uh, it is stunning it is so cool it actually comes with all of the original like tags and paperwork and all that stuff it even comes with extra crystals um if you actually accidentally um lose one this is this was 120 dollars at the store but here it is it is so so cute. So you can use this as like a little handbag, carry it in like the crook of your arm if you wanted to do that. Um, if you had a small enough arm, you probably could wear it all the way up on your shoulder. I definitely don't have a small enough arm to do that. Uh, you can also remove this from that one side and then reattach it to our other side right here and you have a wristlet. It also says Alexander wearing right there on the corner. But this guy is so, so so cool uh, I know like these bags went like kind of viral like everyone had one of these um, they had different versions they have like a larger version of this they had um, a shoulder bag they had a crossbody um, lots of different ones this one is the I think this is like one of the smallest ones that they have and you can actually attach a crossbody strap to this if you wanted um, I would just get like a silver crossbody strap attach it to there and then now you have like a crossbody bag or like kind of like a body bag or belt bag if you wanted to wear it that way but I kind of just use this as a little like um, catch-all inside my bag so inside it just has like all of um, my tech stuff and also I have eye drops in there too if you guys have not tried lumify eye drops they are so so good they like like my allergies like always make me have like really red eyes I haven't even put any right now but um I did put in some this morning and I feel like it lasts almost like the whole entire day so I think it's fantastic I have my phone charger in here I have a battery in here for my camera and then I just have a bunch of like these lens wipes that I use for like my sunglasses and my camera lens so I don't know it's really fantastic it has two built-in card slots so far so good I'm like kind of obsessing over this and kind of loving it I just love looking at it because it's so sparkly I'm um, like a magpie I'm just like attracted to like shiny things I just have to like look at them <laughs> I don't know. I'm crazy. But I just thought this was a really cool piece. I don't know. Um, but as of right now, I'm using it. But if anyone is interested, let me know. But here it is. This is the last item that I have to share with you guys tonight. And this is the Alexander Wang little wristlet bag. But that is it. I almost forgot to show you the, the YSL bag that I got as well. She is gorgeous. Uh, I believe it's called the YSL Lou Camera Bag. It is in this beautiful, like, burgundy color. It has a really fun tassel um, charm as well. And it's in really, really 
great condition such a beautiful bag here's the interior it has just one inside pocket and she is stunning ah i'm so excited um thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me uh checking out all the stores that i went to i know it was a lot and i know i didn't really film as much as i wanted i feel like saturdays are getting more and more hectic for me because i want to go to even more places to make sure that the live sales are as great as they can be so bear with me i'm trying to like figure things out and i do want to do live sales during the week as well during the day i'm going to really try hard to do one this week so keep a lookout turn on those notifications on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me that you turn on the notifications and you haven't been notified when the lives go. So possibly like turn it off and then turn it back on. Maybe that'll like reset it or something. Or you might want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe and then turn on notifications that way as well. I don't know. Maybe that'll work. But also follow me on Instagram because I'll post in my stories as well when I'm going live. So turn on notifications on there as well. And yeah, <laughs> that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know too if you guys have found anything really cool recently. As I always love hearing about your finds as well. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow bright early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alright, bye guys!